Right, here we are in the high swim on the mangrove. Uh, we've turned up. Just to check through the diary, I've found that in the high swim, in line with the big willa at 35 yards, is an area I've caught a few fish in the past. A lot of my fish have no choice because of working hours. I turn up in the dark. And it can be a bit hit and miss when you're trying to guess where 35 yards is. But I've come up with a really simple solution for sorting this one out. For years now I've sat up in the dark and I know I can set up and drop a bait at 75 yards, 30 yards or whatever. A quick look in the diary tells me where I need to be. I'll show you how I do it. Right, the only extra bit of tackle I need is a short rod. It doesn't matter what that is, it's simply something to hold a reel. The reel, as you can see, there is a bit of line on there, but it's, it's practically empty. And blast from the past side, it's one of the old cardinals. Right, what I've done with that, the little bit of line that's left on that reel, I've tied to the end of the main line on the rod. I've snipped the rig off there. It's beauty using lead core leaders, rather than having to re-thread tubing and everything else. I've just cut the knot at the top of the leader and attach it to the main line. Right, I use a line counter now. These are available from, from most tackle shops. There's digital types as well as the old traditional clockwork one. I've used both and prefer the, the old star ones, the cheaper versions. They'll sell about £12, something like that. I'd be absolutely lost without that bit of kit. Right, clip the line counter upside down onto the spare rod. Pass the line through the slot there. Close the gate. Right, so the diary tells me I need to be at 35 metres. And I'll start winding 35 metres of line off the other rod. Now 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five meters. And clip the counter. And get a little bit of pole elastic. You generally find around about number five, number six is the right sort of diameter to use. You can buy it in all different colours, which is useful for marking the lines on different distances. Just a quick stop knot on there, or a marker knot, as it it'll be. And generally go three turns through, wet it, and pull it up tight. Now it's a simple case of putting this rod back on the on the ground with the bell arm off. Winding the line back onto the main rod. And there we have the marker on the rail at 35 metres. Right, with the line wound back on there, simple case of tying the leg core rig back on, or whatever rig you decide to use. Cast out there, as soon as that knot rattles through the rings, I know I'm at 35 metre. I find that the noise of the knot going through, if I stop it at that point, the natural bit of line that you recover again brings the knot back to the right place. I prefer to do that rather than use line clips on the reel. If it's absolutely critical that I need to cast to the edge of branches, then I'll drop the, um, the pole elastic into the clip rather than the actual line into the clip. That way it works as a bit of a bungee and there's still no damage on the line. <laughs>